Hi gang. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make um, some mocha cappuccino. And it's instant. It's great for gifts or for yourself. Either one. But in the little food processor, little chopper I have, two-thirds of a cup of instant coffee. And you, because it's in granules, you ground it. You ground it till it's a fine powder. All right, take that out. Hopefully. Yeah, and in this bowl I've already got, I've got one <clears throat> cup of, um, you know, instant chocolate drink. I'm going to pour the coffee in there. Try to get all of it out. There we go. I think that's good enough. And into that, I'm going to add um, Oh! A half a cup of white sugar. This is right here, three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And it called for three eighths of a teaspoon of uh, nutmeg. I'm not real fond of nutmeg and it's a strong taste. So I didn't use that much, but you, you use it to your taste. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the next ingredient is um, one cup of non-dairy creamer. And that's what this is right here. I thought I had everything together. Um, let's see. I got my cup out, but I didn't put the creamer in it. Here we go. One cup of non-dairy creamer. Whoa! That OD, didn't it? I'm going to pour part of it back in here. There we go. That's probably one cup what's left. Now um, I've got I've already put the sugar and the chocolate in there. I ground up the coffee grounds. Now the coffee you can either use decaf or regular instant coffee. It's your choice. Whatever you choose to use you can mix half and half, half decaf, half regular. Um, now this is all that's going in this. That is everything. <clears throat> Get a nice spoon here. And we're going to mix it all together. Get a good mix on it. But you do want it mixed well. Now, this will make two 12-ounce uh, jars. And this is, I guess, a pint jar. I think it's a pint jar, which is perfect. It's a canning jar. If you want to give it as a gift, you know, you can <clears throat> put the lid on with uh, some material, Christmas material, wrap a bow around it, and um, you're, you're done, pretty much. Let's see if I can get down here. So, this is pretty well mixed. I've got this uh, funnel in here, which is going to make it easier. And 
And that, I want to say, is about 12 ounces. Makes two of those. If you want to do pints, <clears throat> actually it's a little over. But if you want to do pints, you can make four of them. I mean, um, cups. You can do four of them. So I'm going to put the lid on this. This is just a canning jar, but you know if you save your jars, you can always paint the lid that's on it. And you don't even have to paint it. Just cover it with material and a rubber band and put a nice uh, ribbon around the rim of the jar with um, your little tag on it. Now what you're going to do, what it takes to, um, to make a cup of coffee or a cup of mocha cappuccino is uh, three rounded tablespoons to eight ounces of water. So that's all your tag needs to say unless you want to give them the instructions on how to make it. And you know I have a girlfriend that's very fond of um, cappuccino so she'll be getting one of these. The other one I'll keep at home. <laughs> There we go. All right, this one's not quite as full, but it is at the, uh, that's at the 10 ounce level. So all I would have to do would be to even this out to, um, to get two out of it. And that is it, guys. I'm gonna brew, I'm gonna make a little cup of it for you. And we'll see how it tastes got some water over here. Some hot water. And let's just get it out of this. looking for you know I, I honestly this is not a tablespoon this is a serving spoon it's too big so what I'm going to do is just use a regular tablespoon measurer and I'm going to put three rounded ones in here put the top on here you can float little marshmallows in here if you want to. Or some chocolate kisses. Let's give it a stir here. Let's get you in better. That is some hot chocolate, I'm telling you. Now I'm going to give it a taste and see if it needs anything. If it does, I'm just going to take it out of these jars and readjust. It's so hot I can't drink the whole out of the cup. Mm. You know what? That is perfect. If you like it real rich, I would add another tablespoon. But this is perfect. Perfect amount of cinnamon. Perfect amount of um, uh, nutmeg for me because I'm not real fond of nutmeg. I think it's because a long time ago somebody, I tasted something somebody had made that had too much nutmeg in it and I haven't liked it ever since. About like split pea soup that I got sick of. <laughs> I never liked it. But anyway, this makes a great little gift. And it's good to have around for you and your family or any company that drops in. So if you've got, you know, like your next door neighbor or your mailman, your kid's teacher, they're going to enjoy this. So you enjoy it too.
It's very good. I've always liked it. Uh, thank you for spending part of your day with me. And give me a thumbs up and, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, you all take care.